Now I will discuss about the resource controller. What is actually the resource controller? Resource controller means when you will want to do some crude operation in your application, then this is a very convenient way to call the resource controller so that you can easily do that task. I am going to show you so that you can understand. I am going to the terminal. In the terminal, in order to call the resource controller or to create the resource controller, I will write a command. If you go to the app and then HTTP and the con then controllers, you will see that here is no controller now. Okay. Now I will create that. So here PHP artisan, then make controller. And you know, normally we create controller like this, make controller. And for example, I am going to make a teacher controller. So in order to create teacher, to add teacher, to update teacher in an application. So here I just use the teacher controller. If I press enter, then a normal controller will be created and no method you will find there. It will be empty. But if I do one thing that is if I press here minus R or you can if you want you can write here minus minus resource or here I am just going to press the shorthand expression that is minus R then just press enter you will see that the teacher controller is created but if you go to check the source code you will see that already some defined functions are here that means you see this is index this is create this is a store this is show update and destroy all the methods are created this index method is actually used in order to show all the information of a table this create actually show the form we use the create this function in order to show a form that i will submit that means in the case of teachers controller for example i want to create a teacher then i will have to create a form to add a new teacher right so in that case that form i will write in a view and that view i will call using the create function and after that there is a store function that means when a person or an admin will fill up the form to create a teacher uh, will give his name his email address etc information and then submit when the form will be submitted it will come automatically to the store in this function so i will write code about that here the show is actually used to uh, show any particular teacher on single teacher there is another one that is edit that means there will be another view file that will contain the uh, another form where we will update the teacher and this function is used for that and when after the update when we will click on the update button then it will come in this con in this method that is update method and the last one is used to delete a teacher from the system so how we will work with that we will i will show you when i will discuss or i will show you uh, in the main project or when i will just start a project a live project then you will understand about that but just remember that what are the functionalities of these functions but it is not mandatory that in order to create a crude uh, function or in order to you know, work with a crude system you will need to define a resource controller actually it is not necessary you can change these functions you can make all this manually according to your wish no problem at all okay and here in the web.php now i will have to call this teacher controller how i will call it in the top i will uh, use the app then just i will link the path okay of that co controller so app the controller is into the HTTP folder, F folder, then HTTP folder, and then there is a controllers folder. And into there, there will be teacher controller, right? Now, here I will create a route. For example, I am going to create a resource route. As, as I have created this controller as a resource controller system, so I can easily call here the route resource. Here, for example, I call teacher and here i am going just to give the class name teacher controller like this so if i just use the teacher controller and then class this is okay this 
bracket is not needed okay so teachers so i call here teachers and this is the name teacher controller class i do not need to put any method because those method will automatically work here so i just write online and already everything here are called how i can understand it in order to understand it i am going to show you via the terminal in the terminal i am going to show you the my route list you see that normally you are seeing there are two routes right the one is this route another one is this route but actually there is not actually two routes there are many routes for the resource how i can show you this for example i am going to call psp artisan route list if you give here the common route list then in turn what will happen here actually on colon yes not double colon on colon you see that all the route list are showing here right i am going to expand this window so that you can understand so route list if i run this the psp partition route list you will see that all the routes are given here so i do not need actually to work with the api route or ignition that is it is not needed our main route is actually web route so i am just going to check the web route these are the web routes right these are and there is a route in the main that is home or root that is in the top now you see that all these routes are here these routes are automatically created one is teachers teachers create teachers in this way right so teacher controller show in this method in this way all the routes are created that means uh, you see that one is get route another one is post out another one is get route create another one is get put and patch route delete route and get this route for the edit and teachers dot index teachers dot store teachers dot create teachers dot show update destroy and edit all these are created automatically the methods you see that here is index method store method create method already these methods are called using this resource all the methods are automatically called so i hope you have just got an idea how i have called the resource i have created the resource controller and call that resource in the route but the detail you do not need to know now uh, in later when i will show you with a practical crude example then i will discuss about this in detail and show practically how to work with everything here so thank you for watching this video